Well, uh, my name is Barbara Basham and I'm the general manager of Cooper Spur. Well, we're just really excited to be open. Um, the safety of our guests and our team members and our community is our number one focus. Um, making guests feel comfortable staying with us. We're happy to answer any questions. Um, we're also really excited. We've done a lot of work around the property um, while we were closed. We put up a new sunshade and we have some fun lighting out here. We've worked a lot on painting around the property and flowers, landscaping. So just creating a space where people want to stay outside. Well, we're really focused on our cabin and our condo rentals because they're separated on the property and they have a full kitchen so that families can feel safe and get away and be in the woods and still be out but socially distanced. So we, our restaurant is open um, Friday through Sunday, 11 to 8 for um, lunch and dinner. We have some, we'll have some nice daily specials. And then every day we have a take and bake menu. Um, it's for our hotel guests and any guests stopping by. Um, there's some really nice affordable options for families and some really nice sides and a brand new kitchen that we're reopening with. So we're really excited about that too. The reservations will be taken online and we'll also be able to order online as well. We're only allowing two guests per party in the front desk area at a time. It's a little, it's a pretty small area. Um, and then we do have plexiglass shield in front of our um, front desk attendant and masks. All of our um, team members are wearing masks. Well, we, um, we offer where we can charge the guest in full prior to arrival. We're calling all of our guests, checking in two days to a day before arrival and just letting them know what to expect, what is a little bit different on the property, um, what exactly will happen when they arrive. And some guests still want to come into our office and check in with us and that's more than fine. But it gives other guests um, an opportunity to go straight to their unit or to be checked in outside and kind of go through that um, process outside. When guests come into the front desk, they'll have to wear a mask, um, but we have complimentary masks if they don't have one. And outside of dining inside or coming inside for the few minutes to check in, um, most often guests won't have to wear masks unless they're feeling comfortable because they'll be outside or they'll be in their own cabin or condo or out enjoying Mount Hood. Once the guests are checked in, um, we're staying, our housekeepers are staying out of their, their space and their units unless requested. We've always had high standards with sanitation. Um, so we're just really focusing on the touch points, training of our team, making sure that our housekeeping team feels safe and protected. Whenever possible, we're separating stays by 72 hours, um, 48 hours when we can, and then 72 um, is our goal. And so, for example, tonight, all of our, our hotel rooms, um, with the exception of one, have had that space between. Our property is just so gorgeous, so we wanted to take one of the unmaintained trails and kind of uh, work on it a little bit, uh, get it more in order, and so it's a way for a family to come stay and not have to even leave our property to take a nice family hike, not have to worry about paying for parking or a parking pass or anything like that. We have a couple of bike trails on our property where you wouldn't have to leave and then there's several around Mount Hood on Road 44 is some great biking there. Um, but just focusing on our property too and so that families can go and take some of the advantage of some of the beautiful hikes on Mount Hood but then they can also stay right here and, and do that here on property.